In this video, we're going to have a look at how to add or upload learners and organise them into classes and groups. I'm logged into the Evidence Me web suite and on the left in the menu, I can see learners. The easiest way to upload learners is to prepare a spreadsheet beforehand. This can be an export from your MIS or it can be a populated CSV file. Before I go into the learners area, I'm going to go towards the bottom and click on help. In the help menus, I'm going to expand Evidence Me. I'm going to go to Setup and Classes and Learners. If I scroll down in here, I'll find a CSV file. I can click on this to download a template and fill in to bulk upload users into Evidence Me. The template looks like this. I filled in the details of forename, surname, date of birth and UPN. For Henry, I've also added a parent email address. Now that I've prepared the data, I'm going to click on Learners on the left to upload it. In the Learners area, you've got two main boxes. Classes on the left and learners on the right. If you click on a class on the left, you'll see all the learners in that class on the right hand side. As an admin, you'll be able to access unassigned learners. And in here on the right, you'll see a button that says Upload Learners. You can now browse to load the data file from your computer. Once you've located it, click on Upload. On the right, you'll now see a list of users in Unassigned Users. On the left hand side, you can click on the plus to create their class. You can tick the teachers assigned to that class and you can click on create. I've just created Swallows. I'm going to add all the children I've just created into Swallows class. I'm clicking down the right hand side to select them and then using the move column, the first on the left, I'm going to drag them into Swallows class. There are now no learners in Unassigned Learners and if I click on Swallows, I'll find all the learners in here. I can change any information about a learner or add a profile picture by selecting the learner and then clicking on the edit pen at the top. If I want to add a profile picture, in the web suite I can click on edit and browse to find a picture. Once I've found a picture, I can click on upload and then save changes. If I don't have pictures of all the children on my computer, I can take photographs of them in the app and use them as the profile pictures. If I click on Henry and untick Ellie and click on the edit pen, with Henry, I added in an email address. If I want to use that email address to create a parent account for Henry, I can right click on it here and copy. And in the parent side, I can paste it. When I save changes, it will send an email to that address. And once activated, Henry's parents will have a login to Evidence Me linked to his account. On the left within the class, I can create groups. If I select the class and I click on the plus above, you'll see group is selected, group within swallows, and we can call it such as boys, girls, different key worker groups or people premium or any other groups you might like to report on. You type in a name and a description for the group and then select who you'd like to have access to that group. Once you've finished, click on create. You'll now see a little plus appear next to the class. When you click on that, you'll see the groups appear underneath that. So I've put Mark's key worker group inside Swallows. I've also got a plus next to Robin's class. And if I expand that, you'll see Robins is split down into Boys, Girls and Pupil Premium. Now that I've made the group, I want to add the learners. When I select my new group, there are no learners on the right hand side. I need to go and get the learners from their classes. So I'm going to click on Swallows, select a learner, and then use this column on the left to drag it into the Key Worker group. You'll notice here that it suggests I copy the learner rather than move it. When I copy the learner, they remain part of Swallows class but they also appear in the Key Worker group. So when I'm reporting on Swallows class as a whole, their data is included, but it's also included when I report on just Mark's group. Learners can be part of several groups. So for example, Ellie could be part of a girls group, Mark's Key Worker group, and Swallows for reporting purposes. When I'm logged into Evidence Me on the app, along the bottom to the left, you'll see the Profiles button. When I tap on that, I'll see the classes and groups down the left-hand side, and the learners on the right. To the top right, I can tap on Edit, and that will allow me to edit the class I had selected. I can click on Add to add a learner, or tap on a learner to open up their details. If I want to add a profile picture from here, I can tap on Edit, and I can browse to take a photograph or select one from my photo library. On the left, you'll also see an Add button that allows you to add classes or groups from the app. When you've finished, tap Done on the top right hand side. If you wanted to edit learners in a different class, choose a different class on the left and tap edit to the top right. You must select done and choose the class or group you want to edit when you want to edit it.